Hi, I'm Jean Halprich, owner of Stitch by Stitch Custom Quilting. Normally you'll see me doing quilting videos, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. I've recently learned about ice dyeing clothesline to make these fabulous baskets. So I've taken this and made it into these, which made them into these beautiful baskets. And look at all the great colors that are in there. So I'm going to share with you a little bit about my process. So this is the clothesline that I like to use. It's just Household Essentials Cotton Clothesline. It's 100% cotton and it comes in 100 feet. It's a 3 16 of an inch, which seems to sew really nicely when it's time to put the baskets together. So the first thing to do is to get that. So once you have your clothesline, you wanna make sure, also what I like to do is I like to take my clothesline and unravel it and then make it into a ball. So once I have it that way, I know that there's no tangles in it when I go and I get ready to do the dyeing. Um, so go ahead and then get your ball of rope ready. And you'll notice that the end has a little bit of tape on it. If it doesn't, I usually do try and tape it a little bit, otherwise it's going to unravel some. Um, just a little bit on the end will help it from unraveling. So, but look at this once it is dyed and the different colors that are all throughout there. Same thing with this one. Look at all the different colors that are in this rope and how, what great baskets or whatever you wanna make with it, what they'll make. You could make some great macrame projects too. Okay, so let's move on to the, to the actual process itself. So the first thing I do is I have some kind of a plastic container and then I bought um, just a dish rack from Dollar Tree so I could sit that in there so the rope doesn't sit. You could set the rope down in the bottom here and you could add the ice but as the ice and the dye melt, it's all going to mix together. I like it um, to sit above so all the drippings stay in the bottom and don't affect the rope. I also today have it, I sat that inside of a different tub just in case any I get any little bit of overage. So that's, you'll need that. You'll need to have some rubber gloves because this dye does stain. So let's talk about the dye a little bit. So the dye that I'm using is from Dharma Trading Company. It's fiber reactive dye to use with natural fibers. So you'll see this is only two ounces, but there's quite a bit in here. Hoping you can see that. I'll open another one that's a lighter color, but you only need a little bit. Um, let's find, let's see if this one you can see a little bit better in there. Can you see in there that there's, there's, it doesn't look like a lot, but that goes a long way. And I've already dyed quite a bit with it. Here's the peach, might be a little bit easier to see. So it's just a powder in there, it's a dry powder. So you'll need that in whatever colors you choose, and you'll need some soda ash. And you can purchase that from the Dharma company or you can purchase it somewhere else. Um, and I'm going to show again how all this works together. Some other supplies that will be helpful is your plastic gloves or reusable gloves and some plastic spoons. I just like to use those because I can throw them away afterwards and I don't have to worry about any kind of staining getting on anything. 
So those are just some things to have on hand. And now we're gonna get started on the rope. So to get the way that I did this type of rope, I, and it's sort of a variegated look, instead of just crumpling it up and laying it down in the basket, I unraveled it. I unraveled it like this and I laid it back. I went back and forth across the basket. So just go ahead and do that. Something else that you're going to need is you're going to need ice. So you just got to remember that the ice is the main one of the main ingredients for the ice dyeing. Something else you can use is snow. If you are live in a snowy climate, or for me, I'm on the East Coast, and um, sometimes we get snow in the winter, um, it would be a great time to take advantage of that and, and use the snow. So I'm just gonna keep on unraveling all the way across. This kind of helps me get kind of a variegated look. Again, you can put it in however you wanna put it in. Um, this is just the way I like it, and I'm gonna keep on going from there. I'd love to hear other ideas for what you have you could use for this, in the rope once you have it dyed. I know that I could make um, kind of like some coasters or some smaller baskets, some maybe some trivets for holding hot food. Um, but any other ideas are greatly welcome and any, I'd love ideas. There are some great Facebook groups out there that um, have, uh, that are for making rope bowls and you can get some great ideas on there. Same as with Pinterest, they have some great ideas too. So you can see, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, and getting it all done. And it doesn't have to be perfect, don't, because again, it's just, it's all gonna go together, and you're gonna end up with um, just your own unique rope. And that's the fun thing about this is this is there's not going to be any two baskets alike or any two craft projects alike because the rope will always be different from as as we each did something different. So I'm coming down to the end here. Okay, so we're almost there. Now, I have found that certain colors, when you're rinsing it out later, tend to bleed quite a bit more than others. So you'll learn that along the way. I've learned like the, the plum colors and the colors that have like the hot pink and red in them tend to bleed a lot more. So they require a lot more rinsing than some of the other colors do. So now that I have this in the basket, I just sort of Kind of push it in from the edge so everything drips in there so there's all my rope so then the next thing to do is to cover it with ice all right so i bought bagged ice from the grocery store just because it's easier for me that way um so i'm going to go ahead and dump the ice on there And you just want to make sure that the rope is covered with ice because you'll see what's gonna what's gonna happen. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. The, the rope is covered. I'm gonna bring some more ice over here just because I want to make sure. I might even add a little bit more over here. 
Now you could use, instead of this plastic rack here, you could use some kind of a, any kind of a, a metal rack or some kind of, any kind of rack really would work. I just like the way, again, that it holds it up out of the die as it's melting. Okay, so now that we have the ice there, now comes the fun part. We're gonna get to the dyeing. Okay, so we have the ice in there. Now it's time for the dye. I'm going to put my gloves on. Um, I have done this part without the gloves and I've gotten some staining on my hands, so I'm just gonna try and avoid that. Um, I'm gonna try three colors I really haven't tried together. I'm gonna do a peach and an electric green and maybe add some a little bit of turquoise in there and then we'll see from there. So I like it to look, I want it to look variegated so I just do a little bit in each section. So I'm gonna start with the electric green I think. Whoa, that is bright. Let's see how that's gonna look. Okay, so there's the, wow, that's very green. So you see, I'm just gonna sp sprinkle that across. Do you see what I mean where I say a little bit goes a long way? So I'm just gonna sprinkle it across the top. And let me do the peach next. Okay, so I just start with a little bit on my spoon because I just, I don't know how much I'm going to need really. Um, I might go for a little bit more. Okay, so there's the peach. And then we said we were gonna do a little bit of turquoise. This is gonna be an interesting combination for sure. Okay, so I'm sprinkling it across. I'm gonna do me more of that for sure. Okay, so, and it's okay if you overlap a little bit because just like a variegation in thread or in thread or in yarn, there's usually a little bit of an overlap. So it's okay to have that. I might add a little bit more peach like and just run the green into the peach a little bit there. See what happens. And then what I did before, and I'm gonna try this time I think, last time I took a little bit of this yellow and I just did some dots of it here and there. and it created an interesting effect. Okay, so now that we have that, it's gonna be interesting, isn't it, to see how all this comes out. Let me cover these containers up before I get to the next spot. Okay. So we have those all taken care of. Now we need to add the soda ash. So the soda ash helps the color set. So I have some in a bag here already and I just take it by the spoonful and sprinkle it on top. So it's not a ton, but it's just sprinkled in there. And let me make sure I got it over here all the way. Okay, so now it's set. But now comes the hard part. Now we have to wait. We have to wait for the ice to melt. And so um, I, and today I'm doing this inside because it is extremely hot outside but I will move this outside to 
um, let it melt so it'll melt a little quicker. However, I just want you to keep in mind that when you're doing this, to have it being done in a well-ventilated area because that's extremely important. Okay, so we're checking on the progress here. The ice is melting. You can see it down there in the bottom. It's starting to melt off. I'll lift this up a little bit so you can see underneath a little bit. So see all the dye down in there. So it's just gonna continue to melt and the dye will melt into the cotton cording. And we'll see what we come up with. We'll check back in a little bit. Here's another update of what the ice is looking like as it's melting. It's pretty hot out today, so it shouldn't take too long. But other times, if it's colder out, it's probably going to actually take 24 hours for all the ice to melt. Okay, here's the latest update. Can you see how the ice is melting? Look down there at the green rope. That's gonna be pretty cool. And over here you can see sort of a greenish, bluish color. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Well, all the ice has melted and look at that. Isn't that cool? I think this is going to be great. Now what we have to do is I'm going to have to put my gloves on and we're going to take this to the sink and we're going to rinse all as much of the excess dye out as we can get. Okay, here we go. We need to do this somewhere where you don't care about what the dye gets on. I'm working in an old utility sink that's out in my garage. Um, as some of you can see, some of the dye will just really... Look at all these colors, though. So what we'll do is we're just going to run the water over it. And I'm going to keep on doing that until the water runs clear. It's going to take a while, and I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it all, but I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and rinse this off, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what we're left with. So I have this all rinsed out, and the way that I have um, been drying mine is to lay it out over my outside fence um, only because I, a friend of mine who showed me how to do this said that she put her first batch in um, a bag in the dryer and it stained the inside of her dryer so I don't like to take that chance so I just go and lay it out over my fence and I just let it sit outside until it dries. So just so that you can see, that's really what I do. I drape this all up and down my fence and it will sit there until it dries. I might readjust it at times and then I'll show you the final result. So the ropes dry now. And I wish you could see the colors in person because it's more of an orange. There's a mixture in there. There's some of this bright green and then the, the turquoise color. It just turned out, it looks so beachy. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll this up into a ball. All right, so I have my rope all wound up in a ball so there's no knots or anything in there and I am ready now to make my next rope bowl and make sure that you watch or check out my next video which will be making a rope bowl. Thanks for following along and taking a household clothesline rope 
and turning it into this ice dyed rope, which will in turn make a beautiful rope basket or any other kind of craft that you like to use making rope. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everybody.